Greetings class. This is uh, IT 105 Desktop Publishing and this is your first assignment. Um, in this assignment we're going to do a portfolio builder. It's on page 54 um, in your textbook. Um, if you're unfamiliar with what your textbook should be, um, here's a picture of the textbook right here, Learning Microsoft Publisher 2013. Um, this is also in the syllabus uh, in the instructor announcements where you can see which book you need. Um, this is a pretty helpful website too, and I'll just leave that up for a minute um, so you can copy it down or, or do whatever with it. Um, but right here is where you can get student data files on this web page. And I'll also include a link to this web page if those student files are ever needed later. All right, so we're going to go back to the assignment. Assignment one, again on page 54, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, the first step is going to be to start Publisher. So we're going to simply just type in Publisher. You will need Publisher 2013 for this class. Uh, Publisher is not inclusive usually in a Microsoft Office um, purchase, but it is separate. Um, so be sure that you have Publisher. 2013 um, for this class. Okay, so it tells us to open Publisher and it wants us to go ahead and use Quick Publications template uh, or Quick Publication in the BARS template. So we're going to, we open Publisher, we're on this page, we're going to go to built in, right? We're going to scroll down until we see the Quick Publications. And it wants us to do the bar template. Um, so that's right here. We're just going to click on that. We're not going to double click it. And then it tells us some more information, right? It says, use a color scheme of your choice. We're going to use aqua. Um, but you could select that here. It also says to use the basis font scheme. Well, you're not going to sit here and look for basis in the big words. You could actually see the basis right there, the little words. So that's actually Arial Bold. All right. So basis or Arial Bold, right? That's the basis font scheme. Um, next, it says for the layout picture, choose no picture. So we go ahead and, all right, it says layout, no picture. And then it says, create new business information, set as follows. We're going to have, go ahead and create new, uh, create a new business. Um, and that is going to be, now the business information is uh, direction one, part B or D. So the individual name, we just type in the information here. I'm going to go ahead and type it in. I'm going to pause the video and get that typed in, and then uh, and then I'll show you how to save it. Okay, so we've added all that information from the book, um, and that was direction number one. We just all did all of D, right, where we did uh, the address, the phone numbers, the tagline, and then we're going to save it as Pet Rescue. If you have address line one, address line two, address line three, go ahead and clear that out and. Uh, before you save it. So we'll go ahead and save the uh, save the information. That is saved now. So all we need to do, uh, I just rolled the color scheme, um, but I mean, but that's okay. I rolled the mouse there and that's, that's what changed the color scheme. So I'll change it back to whatever we want. Um, so we save that business information here, right? We have our basis, we have our color scheme, no picture layout. We're gonna go ahead and create the publication. We just press the create button. It, it does create the publication. And then it wants us to save the publication. So we're going to save it. So I just click on file, save as. I'm going to select my desktop so I know where it is when I have to turn it in. And it wants us to name it PBP B01 underscore. And for that underscore, we're going to put our name. It says XX in the books. But I want you to put your name so that I know it's you that's submitting it, right? And I save it. So now that that is saved, we're going to move along to, and that was step two to create that and save it. 
Um, now it wants us to replace the header placeholder with pet foster pet foster homes needed. So here's the header, right? There's that header placeholder. We're gonna type in pet foster homes needed exclamation mark. Okay. Now it wants us to. Um, it tells us about the heading, right? If it's too big or if it's not best fit, we want to put it to best fit. Basically, you could do that in two ways. Um, you could highlight this all and then right click and select best fit. Um, or you can you can highlight in there, um, format the text box and go to text box layout and there's best fit, right? It says take it off here and put it on here. That's basically what that direction is saying. Um, so there's two ways to do that. That is step three. And step four, what it wants us to do is just drag this up. Oh, that's going all over on me. Hang on just a second there. My mouse went a little bit crazy on me. It's still going crazy, so let's, let's fix that. Sorry about that, folks. Still going crazy on me, so hang on just a second. Let's undo that. All right, so it just wants us to drag it to the top. Um, it's already there. Um, it wants the text box to be. I got to do something about my mouse. Hang on just a second, folks. Okay, sorry about that. My uh, my mouse went crazy on me there. I had to disconnect it. Uh, it kept throwing me up in the right corner. Um, but basically, what we have to do here is we have to just drag this to the top. To drag the text box, you just click on it and drag it. Um, and it's kind of um, by the picture, and I'm going on the picture on page uh, uh, page 55. You can see that there uh, needs to be close to the top. This is probably about too close. And the text box needs to be about two inches. Now we can do that in, in, in two ways. We can click here and we can see on the side where that top one is, right? So, and then set it it's there. You see that line moving. I just put it at two inches, and now we're going to put it at and click that bottom line. And we're going to drag it up. So, this is one way to, to resize your text box, right? Uh, so, that's at about well, let's move it like that. I don't like that. Hold on just a second. So, we're going to reposition that text box to come down out of that. Out of that color scheme um, and we're going to just move this bottom text line up to about four and a half so let's see where we are here so that's one way to do it or we could just right click in that text box format the text box go to size and make it a two inch two inch height and click ok and that should automatically do it for us so wants this uh, this text to only occupy two lines, um, and I have that as two lines. There's line one, line two, so that is okay. If you need a picture reference, just turn to page 55. 55, 55 has your text reference of what, or your picture reference of what that looks like. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do step five. It wants us to resize the message frame window. And one B, we have to resize this message frame window, uh, and basically uh, we are going to type a a new message in here, right? So um, we could do that so it looks a little bit more more better, right? I just went to view and I changed my view, and then I'm going to type the message in here. Okay, so I'm not going to type it while while I'm videoing. I'm going to put it on pause and I'm going to go ahead and type that message. So I basically typed that information in step five into the box. Um, if my box is too big or too small, I could move it. I could resize it up and down, right? And then it talks about if the 212 area code is on a line and the numbers on on other line, something like that, that you could click in front of that and hold the shift and enter and it'll break that down, right? So, so something like that, but we don't need to do that. So not in this case because it's all on the same line which is what is required. 
Um, so we're going to go ahead and just press the save of our document, right? We've already named it. We already know it's on our desktop. We're just keeping it saved in case the document crashes. Okay, next what it wants us to do, it wants us to insert, this is step six, insert a text box at the bottom of the, of the uh, form, right? It wants us to make it quarter inch wide by the length of the page, right? So we're just gonna kind of drag it. There's the length of the page. Um, and we're gonna do quarter inch wide. So I just right click in the text box, format the text box. I think it's a quarter inch or 0.4 inch, 0.4 inch high. Sorry about that, not a quarter, so 0.4 inch um, high. So I just went to right click size 0.4 in the length of the text box. Now here what it wants us to do is um, wants us to do full width, right? We've done that. Set the text to shrink uh, to fit text on overflow. We're going to right click in our box. We can either do it there, shrink to text, right? That's the one that we we're supposed to check. Or we can go to format. We can go to um, the text box, and we can select the shrink text to fit. All right, shrink text to fit. Okay, and now what it wants us to do is it wants us to insert our business information, right? But it doesn't want all of it, it wants some of it. So it says to insert the organization name, so our business information, that's what we typed earlier. Right, it wants our organization name. Right, I'll click a little space. Right, I'm gonna, I think it wants our address. Yep, that's right. So when you do this, you'll see it jump around. That's okay. Just put your mouse back in focus where it needs to be and press the delete button, and it'll bring that information where it needs to be. Okay, so now we're gonna click our mouse there at the end of the zip code. It wants the phone number. Again, it moves on us. We just click where we need to be, right? And then we hit the delete button. It'll bring that information where it needs to be, right? And since there's a fax and a phone number, we need to do it twice here, right? Put that right where it needs to be and also an email, right? So let's get that up there too. So let's just click where it needs to be, put that, press that delete button. Okay, we'll just get it resized here. If you have this problem here, like, like I am, um, you just need to right click, format that text box. And what's happening is your width isn't, isn't good, right? This is an eight and a half um, by 11. So I did that so that you can see that problem that occurs, right? When you're trying to click and it won't go over anymore, it's because your text box isn't formatted right. So eight and a half. And then once you do that, you'll see that come right back on to where it needs to be. Um, so we're going to go ahead and move it over so that it does fit on the page again. Okay. Okay, now let's look at our next step here, right? It says delete any breaks. We did that. It wants us to delete the fax information as we don't need that. And you do see that I have a typo in my, in my email address right there, right? So R James. So we'll go ahead and fix that. We're going to get rid of that fax information. Right, as it asks. Okay, it also um, wants us to insert round circles from the symbol format. So I'm going to do one of these and then we're going to run out of time and then I'll do another video to finish this up. Um, so we're basically going to, um, it says to use the symbol, that's the key, right? So on the insert tab, a symbol right we're going to use that round circle symbol right and then what we just need to do is just copy that and do it in between each little segment here right so once a symbol between each one and we see we got a 
pet rescue. Okay, so that's right. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save it. We'll up.